Hey, welcome back to RTOD. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the battery in your Game Boy game without losing the data. Now there's a lot of modern solutions where you can dump your save file, replace the battery, but those are expensive and let's be honest, I don't have one. And these are the only two games I really care about because these are my original copies of Red and Blue when they came out with my original save file. So we're going to show you how to do these. All you need is your game, a battery, the appropriate game bit, and preferably a Game Boy Advance, but you can do this with almost any Game Boy. All right, so the first thing you're gonna have to do is open the game up and use the appropriate game bit for it. You wanna do some research ahead of time because some of these batteries are either CR2025s or CR1616s. These are CR2025s. Now, I like to use the Game Boy Advance because I have a little bit more room in here than compared to a Pocket or a Game Boy, because what we're actually gonna do, we're gonna turn it on, we're gonna load the game, and then keep it on, because at that point, the save file is, is active, it's living. We're not relying on the battery anymore. So then we can successfully desolder and solder on the new one. Okay, so you see here we are. We're in the game right now. So at this point, we're just gonna flip her over and get to work. Alright, so we have the old battery off, game is still running. What you want to do, verify the polarity. So we have positive terminal is up top, negative terminal is down here. So look at your battery, positive is there. So we're going to go this way because the positive tab goes down and bends over. So it's going to sit right that. So now we can put the battery on, solder it in place. All right, so we have the new battery all in. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go somewhere else and we're gonna save the game. That game saved, so we're gonna turn it off. I like to pull the game out. We're just gonna let it sit for a little bit. So we'll be right back. All right, so it's been about five minutes, so let's see if it worked and if our saved game is still there. So we're gonna plug this back in. Look at that, it's still there and I'm still on this corner. Perfect, so hey look, I was able to keep my original save game the whole way back to 97 with a brand new battery in here and it's gonna last for years to come. Hopefully this is a real quick and easy step that you can do to replace the batteries on your Game Boy games without having to go through the expense of buying a device to plug in your computer and export your saved games. That is a good investment, but it might not be right for everybody. Hey, if this helped you, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.